Good morning everyone. This is the middle of September. It's quarter past eight in the morning and I am in Helmsley, North Yorkshire. This square, or well, supposedly that cross there, is the start of the Cleveland Way. So just outside the Royal Oak pub, that's the flag of England and the White Rose of Yorkshire on the flag next to it, here in Helmsley. So the Cleveland Way is about 110 miles long. It starts here in Helmsley and it runs along the northern edge of the North York Moors National Park before curling round to the sea and ending at Filey. So what does Cleveland mean? Cleveland's pretty much a historic area here in North Yorkshire and it simply means Cliffland because this area is fairly high up, surrounded by cliffs. For example, I just drove up Sutton Bank, which is a 25% gradient, and we'll see that later on today. So with the church making the noise, it's calling me, that's where I need to get to. So let's head on back there and set off on the Cleveland Way. So this is All Saints Church in Helmsley. So looking at the gravestones, they appear to be from the 1800s. Though the church itself should be older than that. Well, I've gone maybe 100 feet and there's another tea room that lots of ice cream. Sometimes it's easy to get spoiled when you're hiking in, in England. Especially when you're going through this lovely little villages as Helmsley. I've just seen the, the acorn. This represents the, the national trails in England and Wales. Oh, International Appalachian Trail. I've done the Appalachian Trail. I didn't do the international one which runs to Cape, is it Gaspe? I shouldn't have too much climb to do today. I'm quite high up and I'm not really going to go down much. I'm going to stay fairly level. You can see just really fairly gentle hills just through the fields. Hey horses. It's a nice little bit through some woods now. I've got to say I'm actually really enjoying today. You know, not being gone too long. To say I'm in the North York Moors National Park, not seeing much more than which can be welcome because moors can get so bleak and wind swept and lonely. So I'm enjoying skirting around all the fields and going through little bits of woodland. Right on it. Mm. Actually not bad at all. These are really nice. Got a sour one. Got a sour one. Mm. Just have that one looks ripe. Wow. Really juicy blackberry. Mmm, that was perfect. Well my first little view. It's not huge. It's something. Okay, so I think I've just come out of Blackdale Howl Wood, which is down there. Um, if this is the Winnie Bank Wood, then this might be Griff Lodge, um, near the medieval village of Griff, which is just a site. So I think that's where I am, Griff Lodge. I might just walk up 
and see if you can see anything of this medieval village site, but most likely not. So, just up there, there was a medieval village of Griff, but obviously it's no longer there. Just some farm buildings. See, they've been stacking the hay. Just a bit of road walking for a mile up to Revo Bridge. Had one car pass me. That pheasant or grouse. So that there is Revo Abbey. Um, built in the 11 or 1200s by her. Uh, I'm not sure how I say the word. Is it Cistercian? I can't remember, I've only seen the word written down. I've never actually heard anyone say it. Um, so, they were... Lots of French monks came over after Norman conquest and the centuries that followed. And they, they built all the monasteries. And then Henry VIII, um, after the Act of Supremacy, when he became the head of the Church of England, he dissolved all the monasteries confiscated the lands and took all the wealth. The Cleveland Way doesn't run to Vivo Abbey. Here's how you spell Vivo. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. You just never know. So here's Vivo Bridge. It's got its central arch is the main one that the river's flowing through and it's got its two cut waters. That's quite a nice little river. Let me stop by. I was just thinking, wow, this breeze is amazing. Until I walked here and the breeze gave me the biggest long fall of that. Oh, I must choke. Alright, nice little view of a small church or a priory or some such. Out here in the countryside. I wonder if the Cleveland Way goes up to it. We'll see. Well, I came up to a little building is into this lovely little village. Isn't this wonderful? Well it turns out cold curb is quite cold when you actually sat on a bench in the shade. Um, so I'm going to keep walking into some sunlight. Well there's flapjack and 50 pence each. But I don't have any change on me. I'm only carrying notes. That's why you should always carry change and you're missing out on homemade flapjack. <sighs> that could be the biggest regret of my entire life. <sighs> I'd say Sutton Bank, one and a half miles, which about 30 minutes depending on how fast I go. Um, I think it might be a bit further if I go out to Walston Scar, which I will do. This is a nice view. You can just see the, the moors over there. Hello. the 
cars are heading up Sutton Bank, which is that, it's a 25% incline. So keep it in low gear, no caravans up there. Completely clear this morning when I went up, but see there's a few cars there now. So this is now up Sutton Bank. See why there was a hill fort up here a few hundred years BC. It's quite an easily defensive position. So the Cleveland Way just continues down here, just a little bit further, and then you have to turn around and go back. That's what it would look like if we were below. Okay, I'm just at the horse, I'm pretty much at its eye now. Um, this is the, the White Horse of Kilburn. And Thomas Taylor, native of Kilbourne, um, had seen some famous chalk figures in southern England and wanted to create something for his home village. So in 1857, the master of the local school took up his inspiration and he and the pupils marked out the figure of the horse on the hillside. A team of 31 volunteers did the cutting and then when the shape of the horse was completed, they deposited six tons of lime on the greyish rock beneath to whiten it. And they still have to whiten the horse now and then. Apparently it was covered during World War II to stop the Germans bombing it. Not sure why the Germans would bomb the horse, but you never know. So this is where the Cleveland Way splits, going to the dead end of the, the White Horse before returning here. And I'm just going to press it onto Sutton Bank and then think about making my way back to Helmsley. So this is the National Park Visitor Centre around Sutton Bank, North York Moors. I'll just check it out and then sit down, finish my lunch and head back to Helmsley. Right, I'm back in my car, ready for the drive back down to Sheffield. It's been a super long day. I think the only thing for me to do is thank everyone for watching. Um, as always, it has been a pleasure making this video for you.